I don't know, but she better get here pretty quickly, because look at that. Amanda's been in town two seconds, and she's already going after Ron. Oh, come on now. I don't think Blake has anything to worry about. She sure does. You just don't know Amanda. Where are you going? I'm going to go say hello and find out what's going on. Come on. All you were doing was showing some initiative. Patrick should have thanked you, not yelled at you. I know. I know where he's coming from, though. I mean, uh, the guy's got to make a point. But there is more. No, no. I mean, from what you've been telling me, you haven't been making anything easy for you. Thank you. Uh, you look beautiful. Thank you. Uh, you're welcome. But there is more. Um, Nell and I had a really good lead on the Doc murder, and Cutter's not letting us follow up on it. Oh, you had a lead? What? What? The woman that Lucy works with, Marion Crane. So you think that sweet, quiet woman is a murderer? Mm -hmm. Oh, Frank. No wonder Patrick's giving you a hard time. So nobody even suspects that anything bad happened to Nadine. They all... They all think she went on a big trip. Which is actually true, except... She's never coming back. Too bad she's not around to read those little tea leaves of hers. Tell Lucy what she's gonna get tonight. Which reminds me... You gotta get changed, get over to the hospital lab, and get those test results before Lucy does. Don't dally, dear. Some fool could give her those test results before I stop them. We can't let that happen, can we? Here's a, a moonlight frisbee game. Your fingers look pretty hard. It's funny. Some people call it weird. No, no, I mean that word. Positive. I used to really like that word, you know? Positive thinking, positive attitude. That's the word we gotta hold on to right now. I know, I know. I wanna stop thinking about this dirty day because they do. Well, you're also not supposed to be talking about it either, remember? Right. So come on, come on, it's your turn. You know that some technician out there has my entire life in his hands? Yeah, and that's why Wyatt is going to oversee it personally. Which is really nice. Yeah. And tomorrow we're going to know whether I'm okay or not. Right. In the meantime, come on. Let's play. You don't want to play, do you? I don't know what I want to do. Yeah, I feel like that seesaw over there, you know, and go up and down and up and down and up and down, but no, no. Tonight, I am going to believe that I have a whole future, an honest to God future, with you. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to love you, and I'm going to kiss you, mm -hmm. and I am going to think that we have a whole future to think about getting old and gray and fiber in our diet. That's what I like to hear. I bring my back. No. <laughs> you like this. Well, I guess I ought to look at it this way, right? I'm really ahead of the game. Because I have everything I want right in front of me. Most people never get that lucky. Help me with stupid questions, Marcus. Don't shine me when I can see that there's something else going on with my own two eyes. It's not what it looks like. Oh, no. And I'm the Imperial Wizard of the Clan here on a recruitment drive. It's not funny. Do you think any of this is? Look at this place. I mean, who knows what else he could have done? He didn't do anything to me. Well, he didn't break you. But it's very obvious to me that something else went down. China, this isn't cool. If he hit you, I will Nobody break him. Nobody hits me. Then what is this? What, is he teaching you how to make kindling out of hotel room no, furniture? He lost his temper, that's all. I can see that. Roger is a very emotional man. He feels things very deeply. And a strong left hook, apparently. Men like Roger, who have lived life to the fullest, they, they feel things differently. They express themselves differently. It's all about extreme highs and lows. He's a very passionate person. Do you believe anything that's coming out of your mouth right now, Diana? 
anything at all. You couldn't possibly understand it. Dinah, that's the problem. I do understand. You know, believe it or not, I have also lost my temper. I have been so mad that I couldn't even see straight, and I have broken my fair share of furniture. But I have never, ever threatened a woman. Ever. Don't lecture me, Marcus. Look, the, you, you have the wrong impression. Oh, really? Your suitcase is open. The place looks like a disaster area. And you're standing there like the ghost of someone who you used to be. Now cut the game and be straight with me. This could save your life. What's my wife done now? What hasn't she done? Oh, come on, Julie. It can't be that bad. Really? She's fiddled with air schedules, office schedules, crew assignments, not to mention her designs for set and wardrobe for everyone, including both on and off camera. Now, listen, Dinah's interference with the way I run this station has got to stop. Good evening. Everybody knows one another, right? Yeah. Yes. Hello again. Um, Matt, is it? That's right. Where's Blake? Oh, I wasn't able to tell her about dinner until, you know, right before it happened, so she went home to change. She wants to go all out, I guess. Well, it looks like she did just that. Hi. Hello, Amanda. Hi. I, I hope I'm not late. No, honey, no, 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 you're right on time. And may I say, you look uh, wonderful. Well, thank you. I'm, I'm, I'm happy. <laughs> yeah, Blake, that's, uh, some dress. Is it new? Oh, no, no, I've, I've had it for ages. I, I hope you're joining us. Oh, sorry, but we're celebrating our anniversary tonight. <laughs> Just got married about a month ago. I know, but we celebrate at least once a week. Oh, oh how romantic. <laughs> Don't you think, Blake? Oh, well, Ross and I have been married for quite a while, and it still feels like it's our anniversary every day. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, yes, it does. <laughs> well, have fun. You too. Mm. <laughs> oh, my gosh, I don't know what... I... I don't know whether it's worth for Blake or Roth. That dress is just terrible. Now, you don't know, Amanda, but take it from me. Before tonight is over, there is going to be an earthquake at that table. So the Pinot Grigio. Thank you. Yes, Roth is an absolute connoisseur, aren't you, darling? So, uh, Roth, is it true, this story I've heard? What story is that? Roth and I have no secret. Yeah. What is it you heard? That your daughter ran off and married a monster. She married my father. You know what they say, Roger? The first few months of any marriage are always the hardest. Leo, I don't need a marriage counselor. I need a lawyer. When you proposed, you knew that she was adolescent, avaricious, hard to control. Now, if you're going to tell me you told me so, you're fired. Oh. I, I wasn't going to say that at all. I, I wasn't going to say that at all. Good. Good. Can't trust her, Leo. I can't trust her as far as I can fling her. You mean that business uh, when she called off the P.I. or we're trying to find Hart? Let me tell you something. I told her to stay the hell out of my personal business. She won't listen. She thinks she can do anything she damn well pleases. She's young. That's what the young do. Act first and think later. But let me tell you, she is one of the most beautiful women anyway that I've Whose side are you on here, yours, Leo? Always yours, Roger. Now, if you're telling me you're dissatisfied with the marriage, you have my sympathy. But I just have to tell you a few things about How it. many wives have you had? Enough to tell you that you cannot afford divorce right now. If that's a joke, I'm not laughing. I wish it were. By dabbling in those Lewis Oil, oil leases, and investing and squandering your money in WSPR, and by marrying a young girl who just happens to have yacht club taste, you have practically wiped yourself out, Roger. Oh, come on. That's ridiculous. Check your figures. Your accountants have already checked and double-checked. Roger, you have sp small countries spend less on public health than what you have spent in trying to find art. America spends less on public health. Whatever. You are drowning in a sea of red ink. Come on. Those oil leases are going to pay off. Not soon enough to bail you out, Roger. And I warned you, your revenge against Vanessa would, would cost you. It has. 
Believe me, I get no, sat get no satisfaction out of being right. But somebody has got to level with you, Roger. You are one heiress away from bankruptcy. Get out. What? Get out. Oh. No, right now, you need Dinah's money more than she needs you. Out! heard about I was so sick of hearing about Roger's long-lost son Bridget kids father yeah and he doesn't even know he's a father so that's why Roger wants to find him so that he can tell him and he can snatch the kid back from Vanessa and Bridget well let's just hope he stays lost you know I don't care about any of those people so I do not understand why Roger does either he's got me I am his wife why is that not enough for him is this why you paid off the private investigator to get lost? So you could have more of Roger's attention? Yeah, well, when he found out about it, he threw the sissy fit. Come again? I don't know. See, a hissy fit is when you put your hands on your hips and you stamp your foot and you yell stupid things at someone. When you thrash the entire apartment, my love, that is called a psychotic episode. And I don't want this happening to you. I'm getting you out of here. I'm not afraid of him. Physically, I mean. I'm afraid for you. Oh. <laughs> Actually, it happens to be one of the smartest things that I've ever done. And I would appreciate it if you didn't call me young lady. I happen to be a, a woman. And, I, and, and why are you breaking up moments between two people who love each other anyway? The punks who roam around here at night can ruin a lot more than moments. Yeah, well, why don't you spend your time Sweetheart, sweetheart, I think I think you got your point. Well, I could run you in for being disrespectful to no, a cop. No, no, listen, I don't think that's really necessary, officer. Listen, I'm Alan Michael Spaulding. This is my my fiance, uh, Lucy Cooper. She um, she's had a pretty rough time lately. Could you maybe cut her some slack? She any relation to Frank and Harley Cooper? Yeah, um, that's their sister. Well, no harm done, but. Uh, I suggest you find a place that's safer to do what you've been doing. Sorry, oh my God, I don't know why I just did that. Oh, I know, I am. Lucy Cooper don't take nothing off of nobody. I guess not. <laughs> you look on that cop's face. I don't think he's ever had anybody stand up to him like that. I gotta watch out for you, you know? A little, little powder keg ready to explode, you know? <laughs> yeah, you better. I'll put one over on you. Oh, promises, <laughs> promises. The pasta's great, but, um... I think you fix it better. Frank, you didn't bring me to the most expensive restaurant in town to compare recipes. You're right. I brought you here to take your mind off cooking and cleaning. Frank, come on. I know you. Something's bothering you. What is it? Look, sweetheart, it's no big deal, really. I bet it has something to do with Marion. I honestly believe Marion Crane killed the guy on the docks. Marion could also be the most timid woman I've ever met. Frank, she's terrified of violence. You should have seen her when I told her about Nadine's visions, you know, the, the candlesticks and the white roses covered in blood. She was scared to death, and that wasn't even real. Sweetheart, I'm not saying, I'm not saying that she did it, okay? I'm saying that she could have done it. When Nell and I presented the case to Cutter, the guy, instead of being grateful, he lost it. What happened? He said we acted without authority. Put us on a 24-hour suspension and said if we continued, you know, investigating Marion, that he was going to boot us out of the academy. Oh, no. So now I guess we'll never know. I don't believe it. What? What's that guy up to now? I'm sorry if I insulted your father, Blake. I certainly didn't mean to. Funny. It sounded that way. It's just that everyone seems so worried about Dinah. <clears throat> As well they should be. You see, Blake's father is Roger Thorpe. Ah, well, that explains things. I didn't know. I'm, I'm sorry. That's okay. Blake understands how I feel about her father. It must be so hard for you being torn between your wife and your daughter. No, not at all. See, Ross and I, we, we, we know what comes first. Our marriage. What my father and his daughter do with theirs is their business. 
That's right. Some days are a little worse than others, that's all. I'm sure. You're a rare man, Ross Marler. That's why I married him. You still care about your daughter. You see, haven't given up on her after all mistakes she's done. That takes a special love. And it takes a special man to show it and to feel it. Excuse me, I gotta go to the ladies' room. I knew this was a mistake. My father's here. Well, I'm, I'm gonna go home. I don't think so. Uh oh, count to ten, count to ten at work. Oh, I could count to ten a hundred times in that phony, man-eating, phony, plastic, puss, fork-tongued, nouveau riche air so in slither back underneath her rock. Uh -huh. We couldn't possibly be speaking about Amanda Spaulding now, could we? I wish I never heard her name. Oh, I can't believe. I can't just I can't believe that I did this to myself. What? The uh Yes, the dress. It's a mess. I'm a mess. I'm a it's like a I could kill her, and I know that walking fashion show. She just loves it, I bet. No, wait a minute. She does not look that good. Well, she definitely looks better than I do. Oh, I really want to kill her. She comes in here looking like she just walked off a movie set, and I come flying in like a whore of Babylon. Now, wait a minute. Don't be so down on yourself. She has that effect on people. <laughs> You're not just saying that to make me feel better, are you? No, I'm not. I am speaking from personal experience. You and Amanda? What happened? I'll tell you the details. Just suffice to say that Amanda Spaulding has the unique capability of making an otherwise very intelligent, very capable woman do things that... <laughs> Was she always like this? No, she wasn't. She's changed her M.O. She used to pretend that she was this, uh, oh, you know, helpless female. Her? Yeah, her. Now she lets her clothes show. But she's the same. Blake, I'm telling you, what she wants, she goes after. So I am not overreacting like a jealous schoolgirl. Not at all. If she looked at my husband the way she's looking at your husband, I would boil her in oil. To old friends, a new beginning. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Don't even think about leaving. I'm going to be watching you during this set. I'm not a child, Marcus. Don't argue with me. If you're not going to take care of yourself, someone else has to. Deal? Deal. Good. Thank you. Listen, well, why don't you uh, look at the menu and I'll be right back and then the evening will be ours. Oh, is there something important? I just gotta go check in with the department and uh, it'll just take me a minute. I'll be right back. Right. Get in here. What are you doing? Cooper guys get killed for less than that. I'm asking you the same thing. I'm out having a late night dinner. Is that all right with you? With Mary and Crane? Were you crazy? Don't tell me you guys are on on a date here. All right, Cooper, look, I'm following up your lead. Is that okay? So you do think she knifed the rapist? Wait, I think that there are things about her story that just don't add up to me, all right? It's like you said, the woman was raped, and it's possible she might have something to do with our guy being murdered. I told you, I knew it, I knew we it. We need more than hunches. And what do your hunches tell you? I think that it's very possible that the guy came onto her and she freaked out. So she defended herself with a knife? It's possible. That's self-defense. What are you, a lawyer now? What I'm saying is that Marion Crane is Lucy's friend. If it's self-defense, then maybe she can walk away. Look, all this I'm saying is I'm taking her out, I'm trying to get her to trust me, and maybe she'll open up to me. All right, good thinking. Thank you, Frank. I'm glad you approve. Now, if 
far as you're concerned, we're just two nice people having a nice dinner out, okay? Anything else is just a stab, no pun intended, in the dark. All right, I got it. Good. I don't want you saying so much as a gesundheit to her. Do you understand? All right. Sorry I took so long. I ran into Vanessa. Ross? I'm sorry. <clears throat> Something seems to be going on with uh, Roger and Diane. Oh, leave it to me. The one place I'd take you to get away from it all and have a nice evening, your daughter and her husband, sure. But why don't we go someplace else? Home would be nice. I'm not going anywhere. I'm staying here and I'm listening to Marcus play. I understand why you're upset. I don't think so. Look, I know I've got a terrible temper. Yeah, I'll say. You trashed the entire room. You were like a madman. I, I overreacted, but please, give me a chance here. I want to clear the air. I want to explain. There's nothing for you to explain, Roger. Actions speak louder than words. But it was your action that provoked it. Oh, you're going to turn this whole thing around no, now? Blame no, me? No, 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 no. I'm just trying to explain what happened. Look, you interfered in my personal life in something that is very, very important to me. And I think anybody would have gotten upset. Upset? Upset is when you stamp your foot and yell. You had a psychotic episode. You showed your true colors, Roger. You know, everything everyone has been saying about you is true. Oh, now I understand. So who have you been talking to this time, Vanessa or Ross? Me. I'm the one that told her to pack up and move out. You went nuts on her, man. And if I have my way, she's gonna get as far away from you as she can and not look back. Young lady, me. I'm a grown woman. I didn't I'm say that. Oh, yes, you did. you did. Excuse me, officer. Don't you have anything better to do, maybe, than bother citizens? Citizens who are in love, huh? Well, it's true. So, what do you think? Thanksgiving or Christmas? For what? I love both holidays. Wedding. For you and me? No, for you and the cop that was just here. Yes, of course, for you and me. Now, you know, on second thought, we better uh, forget Christmas. That's too soon. It's two months away. Yeah, well, we need a lot more time than that. We have to plan certain things. Okay, how about February is much better. It's, it's, what does February have? February has... Okay, we got Washington's birthday. We got Lincoln's birthday. We have... Uh, is it Day? Uh, yeah, well, yeah, well, uh, it's kind of yeah. cliche. It's, it's nice you, cliche. I, it's romantic. I mean, before I met you, I used to hate Valentine's Day, too. I really did. In fact, I was so jealous of all the other people that most of the time I would just stay in bed. <laughs> well, what about now? But now, I think it could be one of the best days in the entire year. I would love to get married to you. You will? <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> Maybe our fortune right, can't come quick enough for me. Oh, <laughs> uh, boy. What? Well, we have uh, a lot of things to do. I mean, we have to, you know, uh, make out invitations, and we gotta uh, invite people and 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 hire musicians. Right all that now? Stuff. No, no, not right now. Actually, right now I'm very hungry. You you hungry? Yeah. Well, come on. I'm gonna wine and dine. You're gonna keep you up all night making lists. This is gonna be the biggest wedding that they've ever seen since they walked down the red carpet at the palace of Westminster Cathedral. Our wine is a uniquely delicate dry wine with a whisper of sweetness. <laughs> anyway, I don't want to talk about Mr. Doyle. Your work's much more interesting. All I do is sit behind a computer and crunch numbers all day. But they're such big numbers. Yes, yeah, the national budget they are. So tell me more about this uh, murder on the docks. I would have thought uh, that was too violent for you. Why would you say that? Well, maybe I shouldn't have. I just thought it might be too personal. <clears throat> well, it depends. 
Well, it's just that, you know, six weeks ago when I was talking to you when Lucy's car was smashed, I, I understand that you were a victim of an attack, and I just don't know how someone recovers from that. Well, it stays with you forever. I can't imagine. It's bound to color your attitude towards men, though, for the rest of your life. Yes, well, I'm sure it does for some women, yeah. I guess all you can do is really just make sure you don't get yourself in a situation like that again, huh? Well, I try not to. But I know what you're saying. You really want to know, given my personal history, why on earth I would find myself alone on the docks that night. No, 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 no. <laughs> you have just as much right to be on the docks as anybody. But, Detective... Patrick, please. Oh, yes, Patrick. <laughs> I guess you can... All you can do is just take precautions. Well, what are you suggesting? <clears throat> well, self-defense, weapons training. Did you give any thought to taking my self-defense class? I, I don't think I could hurt anyone even in self-defense. Ah, but that's where the class comes in, you see. You know judges and juries are very lenient on women that have to use violence to defend themselves. Suggest you stick to your job of entertaining the customers. But stuff it. The suggestion box. But this is a private conversation, Marcus. Not what it has to do with my friends. You know, your nice side clothes don't fit you too well. Why'd you hire a private investigator? Wait, I thought you weren't getting involved in this. Well, I'm not. I'm not. I'm just... Uh, she's my daughter, and I'm worried about her. I I'd like to help her. Roger is looking for his son. I can't remember. It's some weird name. Dinah got yes. her set. Archer, is that, is that the name? Yeah, that's it. Art is Peter's father. I'm not talking to you anymore. You don't even see that what you did is wrong. I'm out of here. Where are you going? Dying out, come oh. <laughs> Back to the ladies' room so soon? Aren't you feeling well? I felt better. What do you want from my husband? I'm sorry. sorry. Ross, can you come with me right now, please? Just stay out of this, all right? I'm gonna go after my wife. The hell you are. You're not going anywhere until you tell me why you're looking for your son. Oh. You, uh, don't want to lose these. <laughs> 